Before we can get started digital painting, I want to show you a few things about the Wacom tablet. I'm actually going to guide you through the process of setting it up step by step so you can have yours set up the way mine is. First, we're going to go pull up the uh, Wacom tablet properties. All right, that's on my screen now. And uh, notice down here you have these applications. You can actually this you can actually choose which application you want each profile to apply to. But for today, we're just going to use all. So this would apply to all applications. But you could set up one that would just work for Photoshop or just work for Blender or just work for Inkscape. Here's Photoshop. See, you could select it that way. First thing I'm going to go over is the buttons. On the medium Wacom Intuos 4, there are eight buttons. Four buttons above the radio ring and four buttons below the radio ring. I'm going to set those up and I'm going to set, up in, set them up in a certain way and in a certain order that helps my workflow go more easily. So to get to the buttons, you're going to click on functions. And then you see here we have the top four buttons and the bottom four buttons. For the top button, I'm going to make it a keystroke, and I'm going to make that keystroke control plus or equals, control equals, which zooms in in Photoshop. And I'm going to call it in. Now notice on the graphics tablet itself on the illuminated display next to the button it actually says in. So whatever you type to describe it it will put here on the illuminated display. For the next button I'm gonna make it out and that would be control minus Then the next button will be fit, which is control zero. And the last one is going to be, is not going to be an actual keystroke as the last few have been. It's going to be a modifier. And it's already set to the correct modifier. It's going to be set to alt. On the bottom row of buttons, the top one is going to be pan, which you can actually access here. There's already a pre-made pan slash scroll selection, and you can select the pin scroll speed. Usually right here in the middle is just fine with me. The next one is going to be brush which is B for in Photoshop. That makes it easy to get back to the brush tool at any time. This one's going to be tab. The tab will hide or display the panels in Photoshop. The last one, I just leave open. It's selected a pan scroll now, but I'll make it go to the radio menu. The radio menu is, is this customizable menu you can use to uh, make your tablet do all sorts of things, but 
just kind of simplifies things. It really would make it so that you could do anything from your tablet. All right, next we're going to move back to functions. We're still on functions. And that was the express keys. Now we're going to go to the touch ring. The only one I care about is brush size. And brush size is already selected as the third the third setting. You'll see here when I actually press down, I'm going to show you my I'm going to show you my tablet here. When I actually press down on this, I get a menu. that shows up on my screen that actually shows which button I selected. But we have these four lights here and I just use the second to last because that's the default for brush size and I really don't care about using the other the other three. You could set those up to be zoom or whatever you want but it seems to work best for me just to keep it simple and just use one of them as brush size because that's the one I use most likely in digital painting. So lastly, we're going to go to the grip pen. We have these two buttons on the grip pen here. This is button one and this is button two. For button one, I like to be able to press it to select a new brush. Button two, I like to be